So I've done this before. I honestly don't know if I've done it this year. I've done it in 19, 18, maybe 17 as well. Uh, and I think I did it on stream in 16 and 15. But I don't know if I've done it for a video for 19. We're doing it today. I'm going to be playing with zone hitting, okay? But turning the PCI off so I can't see it. So it's still going to be there, but it's just invisible. And we're going to see how my hitting does in a game or two without being able to see the PCI. So definitely leave a like on this video going for 672 or more. Subscribe if y'all are new on the road to 60,000 subscribers. Subscribers. If we hit that before June 1st, we're going to be giving away $100. Feel free to follow on any of those social medias. If you guys want to, use code TWIN on controlfreak.com. Maybe down in the comment section, you, uh, leave some other challenges you guys want to see. If you want to see a pure analog hitting challenge or something like that, you know, maybe leave it down in the comment section. We're 2-0 with this team. Still trying to work on my pitching. Going to try to get win number three using no PCI. All right, so 2-0 with this team. Trying to be 3-0. No PCI, or at least invisible PCI, I should say. Atlanta Flyers, Craig Biggio, JD, Jorge Posado, Neil Cruz, Josh Donaldson, Reese Hoskins, Aaron Hicks, Fran Mil Reyes, Robbie Erlin on the mound, a lefty, maybe good for us. We got Jamison Tyon on the mound. Home team at trying to be 3-0, trying to pitch well today. I'm using Fisheye for the camera angle, number one. And then I'm trying out Oak Streak Park. I've heard that this is a good stadium for just playing in general. I've heard that it has one of the best, if not the best, batter's eye in the game. So we're going to see how it goes today. And I'm using fish, uh, f f dude, I can't talk sometimes. I'm trying out fish eye. Uh, I think that's what it's called. I'm trying out fish eye for my camera angle. And we're going to see how that goes for pitching. And then in my options right here, going to the PCI uh, right here, just turning it off. It's going to be off. We're going to see how it goes. Zone hitting, invisible PCI. How many goes well? I also might, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I also might switch camera angles mid, uh, mid whatever, because I don't know how I'm going to like this one. Craig Biggio. Felt like we jammed him a little bit, but hit it hard up the middle, and it's a leadoff single. JD Martinez, I'm glad it's out number two, uh, out number one. I wish it was out number two, but I'm glad it's an out. I'm glad it's not a homer. Hanging slider to Jorge Posada. We get away with it. Yo, that's a short outfield, though. A short fence and left, and then the one on right, I think, is 320. I don't know if I'm going to like that. O'Neal Cruz, line drive home run. I should have brought in my lefty. Should have brought in my lefty. We're down 2-0. Josh Donaldson grounding out on our way to the bottom of the first inning. We're going to see how this goes using no PCI. I don't know if it's going to go okay. Aaron Judge, honestly not a bad start. A little bit high, but still hit it well. Nolan Gorman, yo. This is going well. I'm disappointed that that's an out, but it's going okay. Edwin Encarnacion with a fly out. Oh, man. We barely got under that hanging curve. Wow. Jeff McNeil, man, that was probably my worst one of the inning. Dang it, dudes. Wow. We're going home. We're going home. Let's go, dude. Cutting the lead in half. I'm sorry that he didn't catch it. It's unlucky, but, you know, that's baseball. And we're going to see if Aaron Hicks can maybe tie the game following that. Aaron Hicks in front of that one, chasing that one for the final out of the first inning. At least it's 2-1, to one, though. We're going to try to pitch well and maybe tie the game in the bottom of the second. Hey, there's out number one, right? Come on, Judge, get there. Aaron Hicks back to the pitcher. Honestly, I'm kind of liking the camera angle. I just really need to make sure my biggest thing, not leaving pitches down the middle part of the plate. Like, if I'm doing a changeup, maybe even just overcompensate this much to try to get it outside. Like, he's not chasing, but I'd, I would rather have the pitch go there than to go down the middle, right? Like, I'd rather have the pitch be too far inside I've had pitches less on the play called strikes before against me, I swear. But I'd rather have the pitch not go down the middle and be like a, a, a chaseable pitch like that one. That's what I'm trying to say. One, two, three, top of the second. That was really good. Howie Kendrick, uh, Zach Collins, I believe. And then I didn't see the last guy. Really doing our best to try to tie the game here in the bottom of the second. I don't, I don't want to be in the bottom of the third inning losing, okay? I want to be at least tied in the bottom of the third inning. Howie Kendrick, 1-0. Now... People have used no PCI before, okay? And the benefits, like the reasons that you would use this like normally are because it's going to hopefully make you, terrible example right there, but it's hopefully going to make you have a better eye. You don't have any distractions with a PCI, you know, showing you or like, you know, just blocking your vision. There's nothing to block your vision, nothing to distract you, right? So you're hopefully going to be able to only swing at strikes. You're going to hopefully be able to lay off pitches that you should be laying off, even though I'm not doing that right now. And I would say it would definitely take some practice, right? One, two, three games, probably not even going to be enough to really get it down 
not using a PCI, but if you get in the habit of it and get used to using it, it might be really good as Zach Collins, a little bit early, and it's a 2-2 count. Zach Collins, man. Oh, I moved the PCI up a little bit, but not to the left for round number two. Scott Kingery ties the game. Let's go! With two strikes, two down, in the bottom of the second inning, we tie it 2-2. Two to two. That's awesome, man. That makes me happy. There we go, baby. Scott Kingery coming through when it matters. Mitch Moreland, pinch hit, go ahead, solo home run, nearly to dead center field, absolutely destroyed, perfect, perfect, and now we are three outs away from winning. Aaron Judge misses that one. Honestly, if those are our last at-bats in this game, I feel like this didn't go super poorly, right? I felt like we were getting some good PCI placement. I was watching some pitches that were close that were balls, and I'm happy that I watched them. My biggest thing is, though... I felt like I wasn't getting the ball to the PCI as much as I might have, you know, having the appearance on. Because I really try to just move those dots to the ball. That's how I hit. Like, that's what my, my at least I think that my mind and my brain and my eyes do, right? in my hands. Uh, so, I don't know. But it honestly seems like it can be good. And that if I were to use it for, like, an entire BR. Ooh. That's not a good start. Uh, I feel like if I were to use it for an entire BR run, it actually might kind of be I don't want I don't want to say glitchy for hitting but kind of be okay Craig Biggio oh dude I was about a third to third I don't think we would have had him I don't man and I'm never I'm I don't think I'm ever going to intentionally walk anybody ever again because I did it in a ranked seasons game and I don't know if it cost me that game but I think I need to make people you know I I, I can't give free base runners I think at this point in, in my MLB career I, I just think my pitching is not good enough to be given free base runners I swear that was not on purpose, okay? I promise it was not on purpose. Jorge Posada, please. Striking out, let's go. One out away from winning this game. Please. Melvin, we need you to pitch well. Oh, no, I'm bringing in a lefty. I didn't bring in a lefty. Wait, can he pitch? Yeah, we're bringing in a lefty. I did not bring in a lefty last time. And I don't want to regret it again. Oh, Neil Cruz grounding out. We win the game. Let's go, baby. We are winning the game. We're 3-0 with this team 25% of the way towards 12. And, oh, that definitely makes me happy, man. I'm definitely happy that we were able to win that game, pull through with the dub. 3-0, trying to be 4-0 with this team. Uh, playing the Montreal Expos. Opponent has Wade Boggs, Yoan. Posey J. Bruce Hartman, Brad Reynolds, Tatis, Avi Sale, Steven Matz on the mound. We got Mike Fulton Evans on the mound. We are 3-0. Let's be 4-0, baby. No PCI again. Trying to be 2-0 in this video. Oh, Buster Posey with a base hit. So we got two down top of the first inning, giving up a hit right there. Hopefully it doesn't lead to anything. I'm tempted to take Mike out of the game. And let's just see. So it's Jay Bruce coming up a lefty. So, yeah, we're going to go to Vida Blue right here, I think. Pitch, baby. Yeah, Jay Bruce striking out. There we go. Striking him out. Let's try to score some more. Let's see how the invisible PCI goes for this game. Game number two. Nolan Gorman. There we go. Solo. Uh, Yeah, solo home run. One down bottom of the first inning. 1-0. to zero. Six outs away from being 4-0 with this team, I'm just saying. Let's try to get some more runs, though. Nothing's happening in this game. We, we each had a 1-2-3 uh, second inning, so we're here in the top of the third. Vida Blue, I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him until he gives up a base hit, so we're gonna see what happens, but... I'm gonna give him until he gives up a hit, then we're gonna be taking him out. As the game's tied here to lead off the top of the third inning. Hey, at least we get some more at-bats using no PCI. But please, my pitching, I'm begging you, have that be the only run that we allow this game. I don't want to allow any more. And we're going to bring in a righty now. Wow, Justin Smoke gives our opponent the lead. I don't think Aaron Judge can climb this wall. No. Nah. Oh, it's 2-1. to Back-to-back -back homers. Not a good start, man. Not a good start to this inning at all. Wow. Where was that pitch? Man, I thought that was a good pitch, too, but he's able to send it for a home run. Didn't get it inside enough. Buster Posey. Ooh. That one felt like a very early hit. I'm just hoping, okay, you know, regardless of what the feedback was, I'm hoping we don't let that run come across the score. All right, we just want to get the final line of the inning. And I'm going to go to Ryan Buchter for Jay Bruce here. Just try to get the matchup, try to get the final out of this inning, and hopefully at least tie it in the bottom of the third, man. 
And striking out Jay Bruce. There we go. So, we're down by one. I only have one hit this game. Let's try to at least tie it. Preferably win it, but at least tie it versus Rob Nam. Please tell me it's silver, not diamond. 92, but we can't let that get to us. Scott Kingery, come through, baby. Scott Kingery comes through. With the line out to left. Dang it, man. Mitch Moreland. Wow, how early. Just early. Ah, shoot. And Mitch Moreland. Out number two. Aaron Judge is my final hope here, guys. Undefeated run. In danger coming to a close. Let's see what we can do. Aaron Judge striking out. Great slider on that inside corner, man. We're losing. It sucks, but it is what it is. And no PCI. Didn't go super well for me today, but I had fun. I enjoyed doing this. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Social media is all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out. I guess the, you know, good news from that game, three of the four hits that we gave up were pitches that were out of the zone. So that's honestly good for, for my pitching because we're not leaving it down the middle, at least for the hits we're giving up. And then if you take a look at the outs for my opponent too, yeah, nothing down the middle this game. Like that 11 uh, right there, that's uh, the one in the strike zone. Like that's obviously not a great pitch, but besides that, it, it really wasn't a bad game for me on the mound. We gave up four hits, but like I said, three of them out of the zone. Let's see who hit that 11 right there. So that was Garcia. I, I, I want to see if that was an inside or an outside pitch. So let's go to Expos, Garcia. And okay, yeah, it's a righty. So it's an outside pitch. And was that a home run? Oh, yeah, that was that was a home run the other way. So that's just a good piece of hitting on that, uh, that outside. I think it was maybe a fastball.